What's up everybody? It's Ashley. I am back today with another foundation battle and this is going to be a battle between the very much beloved by the entire beauty industry L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear and the Mary Kay Cream to Powder Foundation. So both of these, I'll tell you what, I was in the hugest foundation rut, like it happens to me periodically. I was in a foundation rut and I was so disappointed with so many products that I was buying and just nothing was making me happy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to totally step outside the box and I'm gonna try something completely different. I'm not a big one on drugstore foundations at all. I've always been a high-end girl. And I was like, you know what? So many people love this L'Oreal foundation, so I'm gonna give it a try and see if it's really as great as they say it is. So, and I can tell you, it's a beautiful foundation. So let's put these two to the test and see who wins. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start off with the Mary Kay Cream to Powder Foundation on this side of my face. And then I'm gonna do the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear on the other side of my face. So let's see who wins this battle. So I have my Mary Kay right here. Um, I use the color Ivory 5 in the Mary Kay, and I will say it is one of the best color matches I have ever, ever found, and I just love it so much. It just blends so beautifully. This gives such a pretty matte finish, but it's like a soft focus effect matte finish. So it's not flat and dry and cakey and creasy looking. It's quite beautiful. And it just gives the most amazing coverage. You can do a light coverage, you can do a full coverage. If I was recommending a foundation to like a bride or somebody for a special occasion, hands down, like I would recommend this like it is just flawless and it wears all day and then some I don't even have to oil blot with this foundation on like I can get through my entire day in a face mask doing my thing in a face mask without having to oil blot or retouch or do anything with my makeup and that is I'm sorry, but that is exactly what I'm looking for. I do not want a foundation. And in my line of work, like, I have to wear makeup to work. Like, I work in the beauty industry, so I have to wear makeup to work and look the part, I guess you would say. So I don't want makeup that is going to be completely destroyed throughout the day, whether because of my oils or because of my face mask. Did I mention how well this photographs too? There is no flashback, no white cast. Like I am in love with this foundation. I do like using a denser foundation brush with this one because it is a cream. So you want it to have that blendability. I guess I could look in my mirror. I always forget that. I always just do the monitor and then I can't really see what the heck I'm doing. Oh, I lost a brush hair there. That's cute. Big black hair hanging on your face. Love that. So that just looks awesome. Oh, I love this foundation. Every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, I love it. I love it so much, because I do. So that is that. Now we are going to go in on the other side of my face, give it a good shake here, with the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. And like I said, 
I tried these like right at the same time. I was in a foundation rut. I was so, so underwhelmed with everything. Nothing was making me happy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try something completely different and outside the box because why not? You know, if $60 Chanel foundations can be absolute crap, why can't the opposite be true? So I'll tell you what, this $12.99, $13.99 $13 foundation is way better than a lot of high end. True story. So just give it a good shake. I am in the color, oh, the, I guess I already said the color I use in the cream to powder is Ivory 5. The color that I'm using in the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear is number 435 Rose Vanilla. So I am a pinky undertone, so I need that rosy shade. So we're just going to do a little squirt. We'll do one pump on the back of my hand. It is a very fluid type formula, so it is rather runny. And I'm going to use a fluffier brush for that since it is a liquid. Now, obviously, these two foundations are a completely different texture, but they do have some similarities, I would say, as far as the coverage and the finish. They both have that natural matte finish. This L'Oreal one blends so great. Like, for liquid foundation... It's one of the best I've found for like blendability and just super, super easy to work with. But um, yeah, so they both give medium to full coverage, but they're not heavy and cakey. They have a natural matte finish. I would say Mary Kay one is a little bit more matte than the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal one has just a tiny, tiny little bit of radiance to it, but it's not like a greasy radiance. It's not greasy. It's just like a healthy skin look. Again, the L'Oreal, super impressive with wearing under the face mask for an all-day wear. I mean, now keep in mind too, when I say about the all-day wear, I mean, you have to you have to prep right, you have to set it. Um, I mean, there's things you need to do to get that performance out of it. So make sure you're prepping your skin and setting your skin and all that jazz. But if you do all the things, you'll get out of it what you put into it, like anything in life, right? So, so yeah, they're both beautiful. They're both fantastic. Like, these foundations are just, they're really two of my absolute holy grail foundations. Um, I love them both. I really do. So, this is the Mary Kay. And this is the Mary Kay Cream to Powder Foundation, shade Ivory 5. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Rose Vanilla. Which one do you guys think looks better? Like just on camera, the L'Oreal or the Mary Kay? So I want you guys to think about that. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear which one you think looks better. And I will be right back and let you know my final thoughts on both of these foundations because it's tough because I love them both, but there are things that I like better about one than the other. So I will be right back. Okay, so now you saw both of those foundations on my skin. And again, leave me a comment below. I wanna know which one you think looks better. So I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons. I mean, there's really not any cons, but just the differences between the two foundations so that you can better decide which one might be right for you. So the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, this guy here is just, it's so beautiful. It's really the best drugstore foundation I think you'll probably be able to get. Um, very affordable. It comes in a great shade selection. There's a ton of shades, so that's a really good um, bonus with that. Now this one here, I think all skin types will like this. 
this is going to be good no matter if you're dry, you're oily, or you're anywhere in between, acne prone, just across the board, I think this is a really nice option. So this I find gives more of a medium coverage and it is a very natural finish. It's not matte, but it's not dewy. It does a really great job of giving you that coverage, but without looking like you have a heavy foundation on. I don't find that it's very buildable though. So if you want a really full coverage foundation, this is not going to give you that, but that's not what it's meant for anyway. So just a little FYI. So this one here, it does wear beautifully throughout the day. It doesn't separate, it doesn't break down on me. It wears really great um, underneath the face mask. So if you have to wear a mask throughout the day, um, it does hold up really well under the face mask as well. So that's a bonus. You know, my foundation preferences have changed so, so much since this whole pandemic began. I completely changed. Like my old favorites are no longer my favorites because they just don't wear for me the way that I need them to. But this one definitely um, wins a prize for holding up and wearing beautifully throughout the day. It does have just a tiny little bit of radiance to it um, so that it's not flat on the skin. I do have to oil blot throughout the day. So I do oil blot a little bit um, just to cut down on that shine, but it doesn't break up or disturb or destroy the foundation. So that's a plus. So I really like that. I highly recommend it to anybody that's looking for a good, affordable drugstore foundation. So the Mary Kay Cream to Powder Foundation. This took the prize again. It's, it's beating out all of my other foundations. And I feel like... Um, Mary Kay is a very underappreciated brand anymore, you know, with, you know, all of your makeup stores and Sephora and Ulta and all of that. So um, I'm really glad that I gave this a go because it's fantastic. And if you don't know, like before I get into the foundation information, if you don't know, Mary Kay, you can order all of your products online. So if you find a Mary Kay consultant that participates with the website and the customer, del customer delivery service, do it because you don't have to talk to your consultant. You don't have to contact them if you don't have questions. You don't have to wait for them to place the order and then get the order and then give you the order. There's none of that anymore. So you can just go directly to their website through MaryKay.com and order your products that you need and they arrive within a couple days right at your door. So um, if you use and love Mary Kay products, don't stop because it's a hassle to order them. Please just find a consultant that has the website and, you know, go from there because you can still get your products um, much easier than 20 years ago. So anyway, the Cream to Powder Foundation, I'm telling you what, you guys, if you are an oily skin type or you want a foundation that's just going to hold up all day, give you versatile coverage. One thing I love with this one is it does give a versatile coverage. It depends on how much product you apply, of course, but it builds up to a beautiful, full, flawless, filter-like effect coverage on your skin. And I love that, that I have that versatility with it. Now, I am oily, so I do still set it with a translucent setting powder, and it holds up all day long and then some, it's amazing. So under the face mask, um, I don't even have to oil blot. Like I said, it's just, it's so fantastic. I love it. And I hope they continue to make this for a long time to come because it's beautiful. It's just wonderful. So I hope you guys found this information helpful. That is what I'm here for. I love to do comparison videos for you all and um, try to help you better make a decision on which foundation to try. So if you are oily and you like a versatile coverage foundation that's quick and easy to apply, I definitely, definitely recommend that Mary Kay Cream to Powder Foundation. And I think you'll have a good time finding your shade match in that as well. They are very true to skin tones. So um, be sure to shop my website, check out my link below. I'm always happy to answer any questions that you might have. Leave me comments, all that good stuff. Give me the love and I will see you next time in my next video.